Hello, this is the fourth video on logical programming. This time we are going to do prolog on paper. Not strictly, but we will basically follow the same rules. For all of you who can't wait to use prolog and wonder what is that arrow all about that I always draw, in prolog you write it like this. Let's switch over to the Wikipedia. Here you can see a simple example. And also facts like this one are written simply like that with the dot. This one you can see over here. So Tom is a cat, that's a fact. So we just write the dot in here or here. And well, the article explains that this is basically the same as this. Maybe now you're ready to start with prologue. I would rather look the videos though. Anyway, let's get going. This is given. I hope it's a good example. We have two facts. We have the fact that Tom is a cat and Jerry is a mouse. We have the relation that if X is a mouse, then apparently X likes cheese. And we have the relation that if X is a cat and X likes cheese, then X is a is pretty strange. And our, quest our question is strange X. What does that mean? That means do we have any x that is strange? This is the question. Now let's process that one. For processing, let's put some numbers on them. Number one, two, three, four. And does this number zero our question? We combine our question with the relation. But we have to note, there's a lot of ways of writing how to assign things. I will write it like this. We will assign s, and sorry, we don't need to assign. I saw that too late. Okay, let's make braces around that one. I hope you know what's happening now. Strange is on the right side of the arrow and strange is on the left side of the arrow. So what is left is the right part here. Let's write that down. And let's write it like this. The new question now is, do we have an X that is a cat and an X that likes cheese? Sorry, that was wrong grammar. If you're being mathematical, do we have an X that is a cat and likes cheese? That's correct. We also, by the way, want to mark which things we use. This is, we use this in the first, as first thing and this as a second thing. Maybe they become important later. Now let's combine this and two. It's very convenient because likes cheese and likes cheese, they will cancel each other out. And we end up with the new question, do we have a cat and a mouse? So do, no, do we have an X? Do we have something that is a cat and a mouse? We use this as a third thing. Now we try to use the rule number three. And now we have to use the assignment that I wanted to do earlier. We set the X to Tom. We need to do this in order to use rule number three. And now we have, I won't write it down. I will write it down. Let's remove this one. So now we have this new question. Do we have a Tom that is a cat and a Tom that is a mouse? And this is supposed to be a three. And we combine it, yeah, with the rule number three or with the clause three. Cat Tom and cat Tom over here will cancel, cancel each other out. So we're left with mouse Tom. We use this as well. Now we look, what else can we do? We know that mouse Jerry is a fact, but mouse Tom is already given. So we cannot apply this rule. What we now do is we try to, we made certain decisions, what things we used on the top here. And we try to roll back and see like, could we, could we made a different decisions here? Could have, maybe, maybe we could have applied different rules. And let's see the fourth rule is th this thing is the last one that we used. So let's roll back to that one. Let's start again from here. To be more precise, let's go back to before, to the point before the last assignment. Now we want to assign the X to a different thing. We don't want to try this anymore. We know that this is going to fail. So we're going to try this now. Therefore, we want to set X to Jerry. And I guess you know what's happening. Let's make this a little, more, little bit more quicker. We apply this rule or let's make it curly braces. We apply rule number four, sorry. And we end up with the question, do we have a cat that is Jerry? And we know, no, it's not a cat. So once again, we tried a different decision. We tried to make a different decision, but this also failed. So we roll back to the last time when we did some assignment 
and try to figure out if we could have made a different choice there. We go back from here to here to here and we end up at the beginning that is unfortunately written down here and we figured there is no different decision that we could have made therefore there is no strange x. Remember a question was is there any strange x? Is there anything that is strange? And the question uh, the answer is no. Now if things here in the given section are getting more complicated and you have to go do more like re-choosing which is called uh, backtracking if you want to speak like a professional. If you want to do that stuff more uh, with complicated things you don't write it down like this. This is a very bad style of writing but I figured that it's a good way of explaining it for the first time. So when you look at your book they might have something like this and there's a formula this and there's a formula this and there's a formula then you backtrack then you backtrack and you try again formula formula maybe it's this style I will continue on with this style now but as in first example I choose that this is the better way and we also in the next video are going to be a little bit more abstract have fun and thanks for watching